a phone. Senator Ford, thanks for calling in. I, I, I tweeted out to you, I said, I want you to call the newsroom. We want to talk to you about the tweet that you made toward me after I had talked with Dr. Mm -hmm. Alexander about yep. community mm -hmm. policing. And you take issue mm -hmm. with that. You believe that community policing has not been happening in Atlanta, yeah. in these mm -hmm. communities for quite a while, mm -hmm. despite the yeah. fact that they did for many decades, they don't anymore. That's right. And I wasn't responding to your conversation uh, with the uh, with the former chief. I was responding to your conversation with Councilmember Shepard. Uh, and the bottom line is this, is that during the Campbell administration uh, for several years, there were uh, specific community policing initiatives. Those went, you know, away after the Campbell administration. And uh, and that's unfortunate because during the Campbell administration, the number of um, murders went down in the city. Uh, and, you know, we firmly believe it's because of community policing. And so... Uh, so how did that change? We, what, why did it change? Why did it change? Because, and I remember this, this was long before I got elected. I remember the police coming out to the neighborhoods, uh, talking to community folk, uh, you know, asking them to report crimes, uh, but at the same time, uh, not being uh, what essentially uh the APD is in many neighborhoods is an occupying force. So the community policing, when it's done right, uh, helps both the police and the community. And uh, uh, after uh, about 1990, about after 2001, those programs were done away with. Uh, we need a return to community policing in the community. Uh, and uh, we need more initiatives to require police to live in the city limits of Atlanta. But, but that's hard to do. I mean, the, look, you look at the prices of living in town, it, it's absolutely outrageous.